Well, welcome back. I'm Keith Reynolds, host of The Morning Coffee. As usual, we always do hot topics. And continuing with hot topics this morning, you know, this is a really important one. You know, the holidays are here, and along with plenty of good cheer, often comes added stress. Decades of desserts and busy schedules. For nearly 80 million Americans, adults who have high blood pressure, the holidays can sabotage efforts to keep the blood pressure in a healthy range. To help us stay healthy, Dr. Ray Raymond Townsend will be sharing five steps to manage high blood pressure during the holiday seasons. Doctor, welcome to the show. So Hello? Thanks for having me uh, you get a chance to step into the pulpit here and preach a little bit about blood pressure, particularly during the holiday season. Years ago, uh, researchers noticed that there is an increase in, in sudden cardiac death and even just for death overall during the Christmas and New Year's holidays. And so one of the contributors to that is blood pressure. And there's a couple of things about the season that adds a little bit extra load on the circulation and the heart in particular that's important to be aware of. It's a busy time of year. We're all kind of stressed, and we frequently come into contact with other people who are busy and stressed and who, by the way, have been in, you know, carrying a virus or two around, particularly the kind that affect the nose and the throat and the lungs. So one of the things we typically do is to take something for that. And if you're not cautious in reading labels, you ought to become cautious in reading labels, especially when the label says something like decongestant or warning if you have high blood pressure, you should talk with your health care provider before taking this medication. Some drugs, even that you can buy over the counter, do have medications within them that can act adversely on your blood pressure. Absolutely. If you have sleep apnea, a problem snoring when you sleep, using the machine to help the respirations during night makes all the difference, especially with vigilance in the daytime. It's a stressful season, a little bit of walking, just taking time out for yourself and doing a five-minute walk, just something simple like that can help stress bust. Watching your salt intake, because sodium is very commonly poured on in this holiday season, it adds a little flavor to things. And most importantly, and the last thing I would say, is that remembering to take your medication. Boy, blood pressure can be managed most of the time with medication, but if you don't take the pills or don't take them as prescribed, they won't work as well for you or won't work at all. And so it's important to remember to take medication, especially since the temptation is to skip things in the interest of getting all the shopping and all the other stuff done. Absolutely. Doctor, where can we find more information about all the things you talked about? So the best place I know of to go for further information about this is the American Heart Association's website. Simple enough to get to. It's heart.org slash HBP, and the HBP is for high blood pressure. If you type the whole word out, it works, but if you just put the HBP in, it's quicker, and you get to the same place. Okay, I want to thank you so much for coming on Morning Coffee and giving us those uh, wonderful tips on high blood pressure. Great. Thanks for having me. Appreciate yeah. it. Great day now. You too. Always been. The way it always should be. The way it always will be. Because that's just the way it's supposed to be. Jersey Mike's. Be a sub above. My dream job is to run and manage my own spa one day. To be the general manager for the Jumeirah Hotel in Abu Dhabi, Dubai. I feel that Mercier's has prepared me very well for my future in the hospitality industry. The kitchen is incredible. You are planning the meal, doing all the costing and the recipes. You're in charge of everything going on in the kitchen. They really do get you prepared and they want to make sure that you have a job after college.